ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for listening. Thank you for downloading. And thank you for subscribing to this bonus edition of the 12 Kyle podcast. I'm 12 Kyle. Check this out (laughs) on this podcast. What we're talking about is the HBCU challenge. Uh, Now, I don't know if this is an official challenge. Hell, I don't even know if it's an unofficial (laughs) challenge. It's something that popped up on my um, timeline on Instagram not long ago. Basically, what it did was it asked you to list the name of your school and then it asked you to also list your freshman dorm, your favorite place to kick it, the song that reminds you of college, and then in four separate boxes you had to list your crew. So here we go. I'm going to participate, so I might as well. <laughs> um, name of my school, uh, <laughs> if you haven't heard, it's South Carolina State University. Uh, I attended South Carolina State University from 1991 to 1996. What up, King Germ? Um, <laughs> Germ, Germ likes when I shout <laughs> when I shout out my school. Um, but yeah, it was uh that that's the school that I chose. Um, if you've been following the podcast, you know that I did a podcast uh, a little earlier this calendar year about HBCUs. Uh, I, I like to say that you know, while as much as I think I chose South Carolina State University, actually South Carolina State University chose me. Uh, I am forever indebted and grateful for the time and the experiences that I had at South Carolina State University. And I would not be the person that you are listening to had I not attended South Carolina State University. Um, Freshman dorm. I also did a podcast on this a little less than a year ago uh, on my dorm, my freshman year. Uh, It's called Bethay Hall. Uh, Unfortunately, Bethay Hall no longer exists. Uh, they tore it down and I think they made like a parking deck or something. Um, there's really not much more I can add that I didn't say on that particular podcast. Um, the one thing that I will say is that Bethay was a place where everybody came to kick it at. Um, I saw a lot. <laughs> Had a lot of fun in that dorm. Um, I'm surprised sometimes how much studying I was able to get done in the dorm because like if you go on some college campuses they have what you call quiet hours where you can't you know necessarily be loud you can't play a lot of music you can't do this can't do that none of that occurred when I was (laughs) when I was a student in Bethay Hall um one of the beautiful things about being in Bethay Hall is that you had a cross section of people, students, black college students from all across the world. So, you know, you could walk down the hallway and you might be hearing Miami bass coming out of one room. You might be hearing Wu-Tang Clan coming out of another room. You might hear go-go, go-go music. You might hear R- R- Rare Essence or somebody like that um, coming out of another room. It's just... It, you just heard so much and saw so much. Um, And I really enjoyed, you know, the three years that I spent in uh, Bethay Hall. I would not trade that for the world. Uh, As I mentioned on that podcast, I'm a little upset that I can't take my kids on the campus anymore and show them where the dad used to (laughs) while out. But, um, you know, it, it is what it is. Um, The one thing that I didn't mention on that particular podcast was uh, in the back of Bethay Hall, there was a basketball court. And I distinctly remember one game or one day we were playing basketball behind Bethay. And it was me and a couple of my teammates. And I was going against, you know, some of our other teammates. And this particular day, I got matched up with 
<laughs> I was going against one of my best friends on the team. And that particular day, I literally destroyed him on the basketball court. Now, I'll, I'll be the first to admit, like, I'm not, I'm not Bubba Chuck. I'm not Allen. <laughs> I'm not Helen Harvison. But if you ever play ball before, like every now and then, and it might only happen for some people once or twice in a lifetime where they can't miss, that particular day I could not miss. I'm talking about I was hitting fadeaways. I was hitting jumpers. I was hitting scoop shots going to, going to the basket. At one point I scored like five back-to-back-to-back baskets. And my teammates just kept feeding me the ball. And I was killing my boy. And, like, to the point where, like, it got so bad. In my mind, I was wondering if we were going to be friends once we finished playing because I I was killing him. I've never had a day like that on a basketball court. But, um, yeah, shout out to Bethea Hall. Um, Favorite place to kick it for me was uh, Truth Dining Hall. Um. Obviously, that's one of the dining halls that was on campus. It was Truth Dining Hall and Washington Dining Hall. Uh, I didn't spend a lot of time at Washington because that was at the front of the campus. My dorm was closer to Truth Hall. Um, Yeah, so I spent (laughs) a lot of time at the CAF. (laughs) Uh, If you've been following the podcast, you know that I had a particular blind date that was a hairy situation didn't go too well uh if you did not catch that story be sure to check the archives the podcast is called blind dates i'm never going on another blind date ever 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 again um but yeah truth hall was the spot man that's that's where we used to kick it at um a lot so uh one of my favorite places um song that reminds you of college now this one's tough because there's a lot of music that came out Uh, Again, as I mentioned in the intro, uh, I arrived on campus in the fall of 1991 and I graduated um, December of 1996. So as I mentioned on the podcast before, and I'll say it until I'm blue in the face, my five and a half years at South Carolina State University were the best five and a half years of my life. (laughs) And yes, it did take me five and a half years to graduate because it took me five and a half years to graduate. Uh, I mean, my major was a five-year major, but, you know, whatever. Um, Shout out to the School of Business. Uh, But nonetheless, um, so many songs, but, like, I think the first song that comes to mind for me in no particular order of all the thousands of songs that remind me of college flavor in your ear Craig Mack Um, that just immediately like that's the first thing that I think of I don't know why I mean again from 91 to 96 if you're a fan of music you know how much hip hop came out in that particular time and R&B just great music but yeah that's the first song that comes to mind so yeah flavor in your ear Craig Mack um, my crew. Uh, one, there was a football crew. Uh, too many people to name. Um, but given the fact that I played football at South Carolina State from the time that I arrived as a freshman until I graduated as a senior, um, obviously I spent a lot of time around my teammates. Uh, developed some great friendships and brotherhood bonds that will, you know, last a lifetime. So that was, you know, part of my crew. Um. Oh, another member of my crew, Nicole. <laughs> Nicole. Um. Nicole was one of my best friends in college. Uh, man, we. I. I and to be honest, like I don't even remember how or where I met Nicole. At. I think we had a class together our freshman year. And I think we exchanged numbers for some reason. And after that, we were just down for each other. Like Nicole, Nicole would just call me sometimes. And like her favorite thing was she called me. She'd be like, hey, man, what you doing? 
I was like, Nicole, I'm, I'm studying. Oh, so you don't want to talk to me? <laughs> and Nicole, I said, I'm studying. Oh, well, get off the phone then. <laughs> Nicole was just funny, man. She was, she would, she would aggravate me, but in, in the sweetest way, um, we, we, we were, we came in together as freshmen and, um, she ended up dating one of my teammates, but, uh, Nicole, man, that, that, that she, she is like family. Um, we don't talk as much now. We're friends on Facebook and stuff we haven't, in fact, I haven't, it was kind of weird. I haven't had a conversation with Nicole in probably about a year, but each time when we talk, we always just kind of pick up where we left off. But she, uh, my time at South Carolina state is definitely synonymous with Nicole. That's, that's my dog. She is, uh, heart of gold, cool people, always and forever will be, you know, one of my closest friends at South Carolina State University. Um, let me see who else. Oh, crew, Russell. Um, Russ and I played football together. Uh, I met Russ the day that we got to campus. Uh, <laughs> I laugh because, like, I remember he was this little short dude with a high top fade and he had like seven gold chains and they're all t- tight around his neck. <laughs> and I remind, I, I tell his wife this all the time. Like he, he just, he looked really weird. I mean, not weird, but like, it just looks funny thinking about it now. But, um, one of the few people that I met, like when you first meet them, you could tell like they're born leaders like that. That was Russ from day one. And um, we just hit it off, man. We've been friends ever since, best of friends. Um, yeah, that that dude, man. We we just we go way back, uh, literally, from day one. Um, that's how long I've known him. And you have some people who are just teammates, but I mean, like he not only was one of my favorite teammates, but one of my best friends, and still is to this day someone I'm extremely close to, uh, and we talk every day. Um, and a hell of a football player as well. I mean, he ended up being all conference and uh, great family. Um, even now, beautiful wife and kids. And um, we're still close to this day. Uh, we went on a honeymoon trip together. And um, that's my dude. That's my dude. Uh, and last but not least of the crew, my man Mo. Um, if you've been following the podcast, Mo's been on here. Mo is another teammate. Um, one of my best friends, um, Mo and I started, I got to, I met, what's interesting is that Mo, where we're from, like I'm from Florence, South Carolina, and Mo is from Darlington, South Carolina, and Darlington literally is right next door to Florence. Now, we didn't know each other in high school. We actually played against each other in high school, and, you know, unfortunately, his, his team won, but, you know. That's another story for another day, <laughs> but uh, he he won when we were in high school. But uh, that that was my man. I mean, Mo and I played both played receiver. Russell played cornerback, and uh, he well actually Russell came in. He was recruited as a quarterback, moved over to defense, and was all conference at cornerback. Um, but Mo, like me, played receiver. He was short, um, quick as hell, fast as hell. You couldn't touch him. Um, that's my guy. Uh, Mo is our oldest son, Dion's godfather. Um, and we've been tight ever since. And like, what was interesting was, again, we didn't know each other in high school. We played against each other, but didn't know each other. But by the time we became freshmen, we were just like, you know, freaking frack. <laughs> and by the time we left, we were even closer than that. Like, it's weird because like, much like Mo, I met my wife at South Carolina State University. And it's funny because, like, when we go back for games or homecoming or whatever like that, people will see Mo. There's some people that will see Mo, and they won't even ask, like, well, hey, where's your wife? They'll say, hey, where's Kyle? Because like, it's like we're always together. We're always together. And same, like, for me, like, they will see me, and they won't ask where my wife is. They'll say, hey, where, where's Mo at? Cause they know that me and Mo are always together. So, um, that's my man, 50 grand. I got to get him back on the podcast as well. So yeah, that's the crew. 
uh, Football Squad, Nicole, Russ, and Mo. So that is it. That is the HBCU challenge. Something real quick and easy for the podcast. Uh, for all of those of you who are HBCU alums um, and are podcasters, uh, like my man Northside Doug, like uh, Jay Boog, might be something you want to try. The HBCU challenge. Uh, I just laid it out for you, but that's going to do it for me. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for checking out this bonus edition of the 12 Kyle podcast. Uh, I'm your boy, 12 Kyle. Before we get out of here, um, shout out to KG, the artist. Uh, this is the song that's going to take us out of here. KG, the artist featuring the SCSU, which is South Carolina State University, <laughs> the Marching 101. Uh, this song is called HBCU Anthem. Is bigging up our school as well as other HBCUs. Much love to all HBCUs. 5G. Ladies and gentlemen, your wait is over. From the beautiful Garden City of Orangeburg, South Carolina. Please welcome the fame. South Carolina State University. Yeah. Hello, my HBCU. Hello, my HBCU. Hello, my HBCU. S C S U S C S U. Hello, my HBCU. Hello, my HBCU. Hello, my HBCU. S C S U S C S U. Yeah, and I woke up like this. Yeah. Proud to be a part of something outstanding. Uh, Them land grants from state to Claflin. Yeah. Educating black since what? 1896. What? I'm representing the Gardner and Blue. And no, they can't shut yeah. us down because we way too right. historical. Uh, Legendary homecoming, you probably coming too. Your mom, Duke, your yeah. daddy, your grandma That's too. You. We tailgating, the state is still hating. Uh, Refuse uh, to give us money, yeah. don't worry though, we'll raise right. it. It's right. in our creed responsibilities. Uh-huh. Your intellectual growth like academic integrity. Uh, uh, that bulldog pride, those bulldogs lie. You can never put uh, us bulldogs uh, down, we stand uh, up. Uh, my uh, mission, my purpose, my goal, my statement yeah. is to make sure yeah. nobody asks where South Carolina State went. Because I love my HBCU. Hey. I love my HBCU. Hey. I love hey. my HBCU. Sojourner truth, I am so turning you. Shout out to them Greeks, they strolling that Benedict. They stomping that ball, he's a proud of my school. Shout out to the home team, we are open for success. We are destined to succeed. I am repping FC. Watch how we rejuvenate them cues, about to set it up. Look out for that alpha train live from the plaza. It's the marching 101, schooling bands across the land with that Carolina funk. I'm glad I'm with the college, I ain't even gonna front. Shout out Morehouse, shout out Morris Brown, turn it up. I got that school spirit, I don't know about. But I love my HBCU, S-C-S-U I love my HBCU Delaware I love my HBCU I love my HBCU, S-C-S-U, S-C-S-U I love my HBCU Lincoln I love my 